and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous <laughs> physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. They, these five feet will dramatically improve your flexibility, posture, and balance. We have 15 exercises for the young as well as for people over 50. So when you're over 50, you're old? No, I didn't say that, Bob. I'm just saying if you're over 50, these work very well. What about as if you're well. over 60? Well, that's another story. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section because we're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a pull-up system. And we're going to show you why this thing is really cool. Um, you can also go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Brad, and show the pull-up system. What about the podcast? We do have the podcast. We interview there some great people on the podcast. Great minds, great fitness yeah. people. So, yeah, the pull-up system by Bob and Brad. We have it here. Uh, it's very convenient because you just use the wall anchors into some wooden studs which most people have and you get three of them so you can go wide base you can do narrow base yep. take them on put them off just like that and here we go we're going to do pull-ups just like this the wall keeps you from that cheating yeah and you will slide along the walls make sure you know that because we don't want you to be upset when you get it but you will be up against the wall now Brad is showing how if you get some of these pull-up bands and you hook it up to the top anchor like that, you can do pull-ups all day long. You can you can press people and you know at a bar you could say I can do a hundred a <laughs> hundred pull-ups and oh yes or you know, it's good if you're starting out you right. know, before you can get to the without weight. It's a great intro. All so right, so let's go on, Bob. Well, we're going to work now. Let's talk about the five feet. Now people yeah. are probably wondering what are they talking about five feet? They're thinking no, yeah, we're talking about length. Right, a stick five foot long doesn't matter what kind of. You can use a broom handle. Broom handle. You could use wood doweling. Yep. You could use a standard PVC pipe. Yep. Go to the hardware store. And it should be five feet and about an inch, inch and a quarter it's nice diameter. To have something on the ends, too. Like I, I know one person actually took some tape. Yeah. Uh, like duct tape and put it on yeah. the end. So it's grip it a little bit. If you're on carpet, that's not quite as yeah, important because a, a carpet will, will help. Uh, and it's amazing. We start using these about six, seven years ago. And people are saying, where do you get the stick? So then yeah. we have eventually went, got the deluxe model. You can get the yeah. Booyah stick, and these will last forever. They grip well. They work really yeah. well. Um, but and they're you not get necessary. To say booyah. Yeah, Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> okay. There All you right. go. Now we're going to start out with the shoulders because sure. these really shine with shoulder, shoulder problems. Shoulder problems. Right. Exactly. Yep. So we're going to start with the back scratcher. I was showing these with my wife. I said, grab it like this with your thumb down, go over the top of your head, and this is really helpful. I'm hitting the ceiling. I'm tall. So I have to be sitting down and do this. Why don't you just grab it on the end, Bob? Oh, there you go. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> on the end. There we go. So we're not scratching our back, but we are working the shoulder so that you what, can reach behind. Yeah, what you'll find this. is generally if you have a painful shoulder, if you compare the two shoulders, like let's say you have one good shoulder, one bad shoulder, the bad shoulder will probably go up this high or maybe even this high. The, the shoulder that's not involved will go up this side. Yep. So you want to regain that motion. It's going to make all the difference in your pain. And that um, goes with, oh, we've got a few shoulder stretches. Yeah. All of that addresses that. So the next one is the same thing, but it's called the chicken, chicken wing. wing. Yep. And we just, now none of these should create any sharp pain. If they do, avoid them or just go to the next one or do it less aggressive. Should be a stretch is all you're feeling. Now if you have osteoporosis or loose shoulders or shoulders that dislocate, I don't want you doing this one. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you can, now what you don't want to do is you don't want to go like this. Mm -hmm. You're moving the arms just on this one. And so you want to put it to the side of your head, off to the side so yeah. you don't hit your head. Right. And you got the top one, top hand is palm down, the bottom hand is palm out. Right. And you can work your way. And Brad and I have both used this one successfully with ourselves. Right. And help with shoulder impingement. Yep. Excellent for 
reaching up overhead. Yeah. It helps. The next one we're going to talk about is a famous Statue, Statue of, of Liberty. Liberty. If you have a hard time reaching up overhead or you're throwing a baseball, I use this on a 13-year-old baseball player, first of all. And then we found out it worked great for people reaching up overhead as they get older. Works really well for arthritic people. What I had my arthritis patients do, I have them walk up the bar as far as they can go. And then let's say they can't go any higher than this. And then we have them lean forward and stretch. You can actually put a little traction on the shoulder by leaning forward. Now I'm tall, so I can't do this on the floor, but I, you can do it in the chair. Then I have them reach up a little higher and stretch again. So you can do it in your chair like here, Bob's yeah. doing it on the stool, or if you're not, you know, if you can't go that high, you go on the floor. Yeah, you can go on the floor. Yeah. Now, eventually what I found people like very rapidly were able to bring their shoulder up higher. Yeah, um, getting closer to the yeah. top of the stick while leaning. They, don't don't let your hands slide down. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. People really like this one. I, I, I Patients really... Really loved it. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing what you can do with just a simple stick like this. Uh, next one, this one's a little simpler. Simply grab the stick behind your back with your palms facing away from your back like this. And then you simply go straight behind you. Yeah. All of these, the cue is that you don't want pain with these. Right. You just can bump stretch. up against the pain. But as Kelly Starr says, don't go into the pain cave. Yeah. And stay out of the pain cave. He's, he's one of the uh, national all-time gurus. Right. Now, if you want to bring your hands out wider, that can make a big difference. And you can go farther sometimes. Um, Good posture while you're doing again, these. Again, all these make sure 10 repetitions is probably most you need to do. And you can do less than that as well. And breathe and relax. All these should be done in a relaxed sure. state. Okay, the next one. It's a single extension, right? Yeah. So you can, Bob's going to do it like a paddle in a canoe. Uh, I was going to say rowing a boat. <laughs> or you can put the stick down right here like I have here. Um, and then I'm going to just go like that or stretch back. This he, one is a McKenzie. He was a famous McKenzie therapist. He is the one he used to, has people start with. Yep. And uh, this can, again, by restoring motion in your shoulder, you can start knocking these shoulder pain levels down. Yep. I mean, and again, do them within the pain allowance. Yep. But you do it. You can do these throughout the day. I it, mean, you can do them six times a day, sure. ten times. Right. Well, once a day if you don't have a problem right. for maintenance. Yep, exactly. Take it like this, the next one. Go up like this over your head and then back like this behind the head. If you can't get behind your head and you have to do this, don't do it. Just yeah. go down in front and eventually you'll get looser and looser. This is a great posture yes, one. Yes, it is. Posture and shoulders. All these actually that we just showed for the shoulder are good for your posture as well. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together too while I'm going yeah, down. Right here. That's... And you know this. The beauty of the stick is it almost forces you to do that. You don't have to right, think about it. It, right. it naturally happens. I'm, I'm I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. It, it kind of forces me to. Next one. Now this. Now we're going to jump from the shoulders. We spent a lot of time on the shoulders because it's so critical for posture and shoulder mobility. We're going to go to the back with the stick. You're going to put it just above your belt, and then you can hold on to it like this. I actually like to go like this, and then you're going to. Push in and roll it up and down your low back and up into your thoracic spine or just below your shoulder blades. You can see Bob is working back. Good for the posture. It gives you a nice massage. Yeah, it does. It actually, and you might crack your back a little bit yep. on the mid-back. If so. you happen to be using a piece of wood doweling, make sure you have no slivers. Yeah, that's uh, there you go. That is a little bit of an issue. If it's a... If it's slippery, uh, it works much better for, for particularly this right. one. So if you're using a broomstick, same thing. <sighs> now, I like this. I've used this quite a bit with uh, people in the clinic. You have them sit down on a chair. It could be a stool. And you're going to take this and go behind your head and let it rest on your shoulders. And then in a manner like this. Okay, And then you're going to just rotate. This is great for rotation stretch of your spine. And it locks really every... good posture yeah. when, you, when you do these. And this forces you pretty much into good posture. I mean, you, except for your head, you want to make sure your head is back, not like this. I actually like doing it this way too, Brad. Like oh, sure. Just... Yep. 
yeah. kind of forcing you a little bit further. Yeah. You know, you got po- palms up. Sure. So, like, if you're a golfer and you want to get a little more oh, yeah. range. You know, especially because this, if your shoulders have problems, this may not be comfortable. Right. And that's the excellent option. Yes. Good stretch. I'm really getting stretched out here, Bob. I'm feeling taller, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one, we're going to get into some posture and some. So, would it be the posture squats? Posture like squats. So, this is going to keep you honest. Um, if you can, am I right? I always look. No, you're exactly I'm right. right. So, the idea okay. is the stick is going to contact here, contact here, and contact the head, and that forces if your I'm body. If I'm doing it wrong, I'm only going to have contact in one spot right. or maybe two. But if, if you're not lined up like you should be, you're, this will keep you honest. Oops, got it a little bit out of the way. So when he talked about being honest, he talked about maintaining good, solid posture. He wasn't talking about the ethical honest. Anyway. Hey. <laughs> ah, you never know. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, so look at that. This keeps the back. And now he's working some leg strength as well as maintaining posture. So you do this five or ten repetitions on a daily basis, and it's going to give you muscle memory. So when you do pick things up, that posture yeah picture that mechanics. stick in place mm-hmm. you know whenever you do it and even when you start doing squats maybe without then you start remembering the where that stick was right so it gives you a good feedback right now we're going to go right into some balance and some walking things i want you to imagine there's a straight line right below you maybe you have a, a floor that has some lines and you're going to do the heel to toe like you're walking the tightrope and the stick for this point is just so you got something to balance so you don't tip. You know, if, if you do have poor balance, you may have to have a cupboard on one side to stick on the other and work with that. You can look down at your toes and as you get better, you should be able to look straight ahead and make sure your heel touches the toes and that works proprioception, which is really important for, for your balance as well as your walking. So that's a nice one for that. Uh, the next one, and this is a strictly a balanced one, on one foot, and what I'll do, if you need a good grip on the stick to, to hold it, that's fine. You may have to or you start. Or two fingers. Yep. You yeah. may have to have a, a bench on one side or, or a cover. <laughs> yep. And then, you know, if that's too easy, you can just hold it up here. Or, you know, for really advanced people, hold it up here. And 30 seconds. If you can go 30 seconds, then you're ready to progress. And, you know, if you're doing it like this, then you get a cushion or something oh, like this. We've got Pete's Choice here. Yep. You can just take a cushion off your couch if you want to. Sure. And now that makes it much more difficult. Yeah, no, this for, is going to be for someone who we're not yeah. afraid that if they fall. Yeah. That's you know? more, you know, the athletic type of person. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, be safe with all of these things. Where are we, Bob? Heel to toe rocking. Oh, this one's critical. Yes, it is. For strength. You'll have to go down to take the camera down at, to see our feet. At any age. Yeah. This um, is a good one to do. You, you need the ankle strength and balance. Yeah. And we wore the appropriate socks so you can see how when we go back yep. this way to lift the toes up. The toes are coming up. That's almost more important than this in some ways. For sure. Uh, for your walking and your balance. And the stick is just here. You know, if you can do this without the stick and you're 60 years old, yeah. boy, you're, you're, you're doing good. You're probably not going to fall. But a lot of people will be challenged with this. Uh, and the next one. Uh, lunges. Now, this one is going to be for the more younger person, the athletic elder or older person. We're just going to go out like this. And I use mine all the time with my lunges. And I'll either go like this or I'll step out. Go, I'm going to use a stick to help push up. Sure. And then I'll go the other side. And a lot of times I'll change it. If it's my left leg is forward, my right hand has the stick. It gives you a wider base of support, and you're much more stable. Um, I think we're, we're down to the last one, Brad. Are we really? The four-point toe touch oh, stick. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. So we're going to start. Stick is just for the balance. You're going to reach out as far as you can with comfort. Touch in front. Touch out to the side, touch over this way, and then reach out and touch behind you. And the goal is is to go out as far as you can to challenge your balance, but not so much you're going to tip over. Right. And make sure you do both legs, you know, 
you know, if you really want to work this, you put a piece of tape on the floor there, or you have a floor that's marked, and you can see kind of how far you're going. Right. I've done this with uh, patients, patients and rulers. Sure. Yeah. I get the ruler so it's not in their way, but it's safe. So that's a nice high-level balance one. There we go, Brad. Wow, that, that was, was fifteen. That was comprehensive. Wow, comprehensive. Fifteen minutes too. And fifteen minutes too. Don't minutes do them minutes. all. Do the ones that work for you, and you're going to find yourself uh, really starting to flex out. And there you go. Yeah. Have a good day. We got to <laughs> booyah.